Hey guys, this is Renner Faroo here, and I just wanted to make a really, really quick video about the Roro 834 VFS ST bearings that I just bought. Um, I did. I wanted to do a comparison to the 2022 Aldebaran uh, bearings, and so I went ahead and t uh, took off the side plate, took out the spool, and then removed the stock bearing from the side plate. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but this one also has the O-ring in the middle of the bearing, or on the side of the bearing, on the outer race. But you can see that the, the Roro version is actually quite a bit thicker, maybe double the thickness of the, or double the width of the Aldebaran bearing. And they're different, actually. So the Aldebaran bearing looks like it's a sealed bearing on both sides. Whereas the Roro bearing, it looks to be like it's an open bearing, it's unsealed. And also the Roro bearing, if you can see there, has kind of that ceramic bearing sound as it rotates. It also rotates a lot freer, and that could be because I may have uh, put a drop of BFS oil that came with the uh, the Aldebaran bearing, but take a listen. It, it doesn't spin very long, not nearly as long either. But you can kind of hear that it's actually a lot quieter than the Roro bearing. And so I wanted to do a test to see, you know, which bearing might perform quote unquote better. So I'm going to go ahead and put the Roro bearing into the end cap. And so the other thing that I noticed is that this Roro bearing does not seat nearly as well. The O-ring, I don't know, for whatever reason, maybe the size is a little bit smaller. And I'm trying to make sure that everything is seated. But it just doesn't seat as well as the Aldebaran bearing. I, I guess the tolerances for the outer race are just going to not be as good. Um, the, the spool shaft is going quite nicely, but that's because the Aldebaran spool shaft actually has, and you can see that that came out, the Aldebaran spool shaft has its own O-ring on there. And that O-ring makes it so that it has a really, really good seal to whatever bearing that the spool shaft goes into. And I think that that is one of the keys along with um, you know, whatever, whatever balls it has in the bearing is one of the keys to making the Aldebaran such a, a free spinning um, spool. So anyways, let's take a, and why this is by no means, you know, really scientific. It's just a, a really quick, rough test, right? So here we go. Oh, sorry. So that's, yeah, that was the, uh, the Roro spool kind of coming out. And, um, yeah, I don't really blame them for not having the best tolerances with these bearings, with their bearings, but at the, because you're not going to be experiencing, you know, any kind of side to side vibration. Hopefully the, the O-ring kind of gets rid of that. But here we go. And so you guys are watching this as well as I am and seeing how long it kind of spins. And so we'll call it there. And then now I'm going to go ahead and swap out the bearing back to the stock Aldebaran bearing. And I'm going to make it so that the O-ring goes down. But yeah, as I'm trying to seat this bearing, it just, the tolerances are a lot tighter. And to me, that tells me that, uh, well, it seems to me that most likely these bearings are actually not the same bearings and they're not made in the same factory. But here we go. So yeah, I don't know which one is technically better um, 
the uh, the stock all the bearing bearings are definitely really good bearings right off the bat so I, I don't see that these Roro ST bearings are going to replace them unfortunately um, but they are going to allow you to kind of get the bearing quality to be very very similar to a stock Alder bearing bearing that being said if you can find the Shimano Aldebaran 2022 uh, BFS uh, schematic and order these bearings from Shimano Japan. I wonder if these are going to be a really, really good suitable replacement. It's just that the, the Roro bearings are a lot easier to get. And even still, they're, they're kind of expensive. And I haven't checked the price on these uh, Shimano Aldebaran bearings at all. But um, yeah. I just wanted to bring you a quick video about the comparison between these SIC BFS ST Roro bearings and then this stock 2022 BFS Aldebaran bearings. And uh, the performance is pretty similar. Uh, the tolerances are not going to be nearly as tight as the, the stock Aldebaran bearings, but uh, you know, if you're using them for something similar to what I'm going to use them for, which is my. Uh, I'm gonna put them in my uh, Solo King Acura reel. Then uh, I think that uh, it's probably a good upgrade. Probably because I don't have any, uh, you know, tests or anything like that yet. The bearings are definitely a lot freer spinning than your stock um, Solo King Acura bearing or even your Dark Wolf Ultra bearing. I mean. It's still going. <laughs> and I haven't cleaned these bearings at all. So I'm wondering if it'll it'll make that much of a difference. I, I will say though that if you plan on um, cleaning these bearings when you get them, to try and remove those O-rings before you do so, because if you put this in brake parts cleaner or if you put this in isopropyl, that will dry out that rubber. And so um, you're not gonna get uh, O-rings that last as long. The other thing is, is that uh, I wonder if there's a place where you can actually source these O-rings because the O-rings look very, very similar between the two. And, um, you know, I've already noticed that my uh, spool O-ring on the Aldebaran has a small nick in it. And yeah, it's uh, an O-ring is going to be a, a wear part, right? So finding a good source to replace those uh, relatively cheaply, I think is going to be... Um, a good thing for anybody who owns an Aldebaran or has a uh, bearing that has an O-ring on it. And um, yeah, I guess that's going to do it for this video. If you like, um, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, until the next one, I'll see you guys out there on the water. And peace.